number 15. Oh, number 15. Balloon Mind, Mind State by Della Soul. It's the first studio album by um, Della Soul. It was released on, Oak on September the 21st, 993 by Tommy Boy Records. Um, it's hip hop and they got a lot of jazz inf um, elements to it, you know. It's three singles from the album. From the album, you got one number one, breakdown, release nine ninety three, and you got ego tripping part two, release nine ninety four. So definitely a good album. That I, so that's what number fifteen. Um, Berlin by My State by um, Della Soul. Definitely check that out, man. It's worth listen. A good album there. Um. Boy, the lot of albums that came out in three, my big year. Number 14, The Coop, Kill My Landlord. Boy, that, that, um, so, number Kill My Landlord is the debut studio album by American um, hip hop group The Coop. It was released on World Pitch Records on May the 4th, 1993. It peaked at number 83 on the Billboard Hot Top 100 chart. Top album, I'll say. Um, produced by Boots Riley. Um, did it right, this very good. This um, 11 um, track all together. Good album, I definitely put this up there. Um, 14, Kill My Landlord, De definitely worth listening. Um, number 13, Never Again by Cam. Never Again by Cam, the debut album by West Coast um, hip hop artist Cam. Um, it was, um, Executive produced by Cam and his cousin Ice Cube and produced um, variety by West Coast Production including DJ Pew, Rashad and Chris Charity. It features guest vocals beside Ice Cube on What's Right. In addition, DJ Train, DJ Pew and Brian G provide scratches on various tracks. Good album. Um, released February the 16th, 1993. The genre is West Coast Hip Hop, G for Political Hip Hop. Um, so, um, all together, there's 12 tracks all together, you know, and I definitely have a listen to the album. We've got some one of my favorite songs in the album, Stereotype, Still Got Love for um, Hang On High, you know, and I definitely um, would recommend this album to have a listen. Number 13, Never Again by Cam, it's a stable studio album. Have a listen to that, Def definitely good album, I'll definitely recommend that. Number 12, it's on Dr. Drake. 187 Killer by Easy E. Yes, this is the second um, LP EP by rapper Easy E, released on 993 as a response to Dr. J's Chronic. The EP um, was certified two times platinum in 994 and re by the um, Recording Institute of America. It is Easy E's most successful release, peaking at number five on the Billboard 200 and number one on the R&B and hip hop albums um, chart while selling over. Um, selling over, we're selling um, 1,010 1, 1, 1, 600 copies um, in his first week. This, this is the last complete work made before he died in 1995. Um, released October 1993. Good album, man. Um, there's two singles from the album, you know. We can real motherfucking G's. That was one of the best hits tracks, man, in my eyes. And yes, yeah, so definitely. And number two, Any Last Words as well. Great album, I definitely. So definitely the number 12, def, this is number 12, I definitely um, recommend this. Um, 187 Killer by Easy E. Definitely have to listen to that. Definitely worth listening. Number 11, Guru Jasmine Taz, Volume 1. Guru Jazz Volume 1. This is the debut solo album by um, Guru. Um, released on 18th of, of, eight, the 18th of 1993 of May. Um, recorded between 1992 and 1993. Um, this is the Jazz Rap album. It's a hip hop album with ad with jazz elements to it. Um, the 12 track put together. We have songs like when you're near featuring in there, Devonport, 
you know, had vocals like Sam and Law on the keyboards, you had Transit Ride with Brandon Marcel, um, also, yes, No Time to Play featuring Randy Jordan, you know, got some good tracks like, on there, and definitely that's not us, so I would consider listening to this album, it's a good album. It's not, it's not the user, it's the, the jazz rap album, this is my favourite jazz rap album of all time. So I'll definitely, uh, if you're into hip hop and you're into jazz, and then I've got a mixture of both together, this is the good element, this is a good album to listen to, you could have got a mixture of both, a good element of hip hop and jazz mixed together. Yes, the Goo's, um, the Goo's, um, positive, um, and, and positive lyrics, I've definitely listened to this um, album. 